Hi, guys. Hi. Hello and good morning. We're on lesson 235. I think we should just take a moment to join before I read this. Okay. God in his mercy wills that I be saved. God in his mercy wills that I be saved. I need, but I need only look upon all things that seem to hurt me and with perfect certainty assure myself God wills that I be saved from this and merely watch them disappear. I need only keep in mind my Father's will for me is only happiness to find that only happiness has come to me. And I need only remember that his love surrounds his son and keeps his sinlessness forever perfect to be sure that I am saved and safe forever in his arms. I am the son he loves and I am saved because God in his mercy wills it so. Father, your holiness is mine. Your love created me and made my sinlessness forever part of you. I have no guilt or sin in me, for there is none in you. You know, what really stuck out is that there's been so many times where ego has tricked me into thinking that I was sitting around waiting for God to show up or to do something. And it almost made it feel like God was an opponent or some, some presence that I needed to convince <laughs> that I needed help. And this statement that God wills that I be saved from this, you know, it really places us and God. We share the same will. Only the ego would have a seeming will apart from God. And that's all there is to any problem. God wills that I be saved from this and merely watch them disappear. God's will and my will are the same. Yeah. I'd like to add something, sis, to this. Yeah. yeah. This morning, I came across a quote. Um, where is it from? You know, I can't remember where it's from. Sorry. Oh, is I think it's chapter four. Yeah. And and I saw in this quote the multi-dimensionality of it. And I think it it falls into alignment with this lesson. Mm -hmm. And I'll read the quote. 
to you. It's only short. Yeah. When you feel guilty, remember that the ego has indeed violated the laws of God. But you have not. That's it. Leave the sins of the ego to me, Jesus, or the Holy Spirit. The, that is what atonement is for. So he, he begins this quote by saying, when you feel guilty, remember that the ego has indeed violated the laws of God, but you, the beloved child of God, have not. Right. So, you know, he's clearly stating there are two identities and one of them is not real never was, never could be. That's yeah. the positive separation right there. And when he's, and you know, you can say, like I used to say, well, it's, um, I don't know, I'm not feeling guilty right now, but I'm filled with fear. Or I'm not feeling guilty right now, but I'm filled with anger or resentment or whatever it might be. Well, it's all the same. It's all guilt. Right. And, and why? Because the anger and the fear is based upon some story about bodies. And if we believe in bodies, we believe in the separation. And if we believe we're separated, we feel guilt. So the guilt might not be in our awareness up at this level where we're consciously aware of it, but you've got the offshoots of, of guilt that you are aware of. You couldn't feel the fear or the anger if you didn't have the guilt, which is the thought that you are a body and separate. So, you, you, you know, that line that he begins with, when you feel guilty, yeah. could be when you feel sick, mm -hmm. when you feel tired, mm -hmm. when you are filled with self-doubt, yes, unworthiness. When you're mythically me-identified, <laughs> so it's just, yeah, because God's law doesn't know anything about matter and, and bodies. You know, that's, yeah, it's good to see that. And to recognize that at the, the only thing that's happened is that we've mistaken our identity with the mm -hmm. mythical thought system. We, for a moment, you know, we were duped into thinking that the ego and its body is what we are, and it's not. So that's why Sis is po pointing to, we need to make that positive separation. These are not my thoughts. That is not me. Yeah. I am the Christ, the Holy Son of God, created by God, sustained and preserved by God. And I'm under so, only God's laws. So that means I'm not the Holy Son of God and human. Right. <laughs> and the human cannot be holy the body can be used for holy purposes but that's as far as that goes mm -hmm. we let go of what we're not to remember what we are you do exist just not as you think you do <laughs> mm. Yeah. Mm, i love that line god wills that i be saved from this that's yeah that really hit me God is our greatest advocate because it is his will that we know him. It is his will that we remember. It is his will that we be with him, that we're joyful and happy and fulfilled. And so it is. God itself supports us. How can we lose? Well, we can't. That's right. The outcome is inevitable. That's, right. That's the only thing that it's in, in, inevitable, right? That's it. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Beautiful so, lesson. It is. God in his mercy wills that I be saved. There you go. There's a reason to dance. 
Thank you, family. Thank you. Thanks, sis. Thank you for the Thank quote. You.